feeling your hands and just feeling the movement of the hands starting by resting in up in your hands feel the breath relax the jaw and gently move your head It's easy to note the muscles of the neck, softening, and as the head moves, it brings the spine into more movement, into rotations, undulations. Now pelvis and head move together. Slowly unwind in the spine. Inviting one leg to go as the spine moves. The leg just drops, maybe. Your spine leave for an options. They can go with this movement. Other leg. Stretch the sole of the feet. Knee into downward dog. Breathe into your back. Like head and spine. And walking forward. Soft the knees. Rest down here. To roll up. One vertebra at a time. Inhale, rest in the hands, exhale, breathing in, breathing out, halfway up and step to plank and chaturanga, you may drop the knees, Urdhva Mukha and down dog. Relax the jaw and allow the body to breathe. And gently, either jump, walk forward towards your hands. And either roll up or with a nice and long spine, come up. 
into your standing position. Now let's open your feet a little bit more wider. I'm going to turn myself. And just soft the knees. Um, keep your weight of the body firmly down towards the ground. Um, we're going to inhale, raise the arms up. Yeah. And exhale, bring them back down. Let's do two more just to find our breath and arm synchronization. And we're going to move our spine into a gentle back bend and a very deep forward bend. So as we stretch in the morning, keep the knees bent, open or arch in your back, open the chest, inhale, and exhale, really close, close, close yourself. And again, inhale, opening, it's like a cat cow, but it is standing. And exhale, round. Breathing in. Breathing out. Three more. Just enjoy the open, enjoy the fullness of inhale. And enjoy the closure and the fullness of the exhale. Moving the spines, the, the curves of the spine. And back to center. Um, bring your feet parallel this time. So we're going to bring them around the arms with the feet well, well parallel. We're going to inhale, arms up, round and behind you. And as they bring together your palm, palms together, Squat into an Utkatasana. And again, breathe in, round, exhale, long spine, Utkatasana. Let's do three more. Breathing in, and Utkatasana. Breathing out, two more. Last one. We're gonna hold here. And as we sometimes go for a swim, so one arm swings back, inhale, and exhale back to prayer. Other arm, inhale, exhale. And continue swimming. And as you move, because we're doing a rotation of the spine, let the pelvis and the, the pelvis and knees need to move. We're not held it. We're open and fluid. Uh, let's do two more. The full length of the breath. And we're going to bring the hands towards the ground, tip of the fingers, draw the weight of the body towards the right leg, and let's remove the left leg up. And let's try to lengthen our spine here. A low warrior three, let's say. Two breaths. And gently, we're going to step the left foot far back. Keep the spine long. Continue breathing. Now, in this position, I can feel my, my right thigh very close to my uh, body. I'm going to try to keep that leg very close to my body. We're going to work the deep, deep core, the flexors. So I'm going to push 
my palms and my spine is going to lengthen. We're going to try to keep the leg as close as possible with my belly, on to my belly. Keep the length of the spine. One breath more, inhale. Now, my leg is already quite close to the belly. We're going to try to step forward again. Nice and strong core. Length the spine again. Inhale. But it's time to move to Chaturanga. Urdhva Mukha. And downward toe. Breathe. Find a rest in position. Find your long bones of the legs and arms. Supporting your torso and pelvis. And we're going to jump and walk forward towards the hands. And with the spine long or round, let's come all the way up. Into standing. Hands some prayer. Inhale, reach up at the sky. Exhale, folding forward. Let's bend the knees. Tip of the fingers. And this time we're going to pass the word of the body towards the left leg to bring the right leg up into low warrior three. Inhale, hear the breath, the posture with fluid breath. Inhale and slowly step the right foot back into the low lunge. It's a long spine. Feeling already here, it's quite tight, close to the core. So as, my, as I place the hands to the floor, I push through my palms to ground. Keep the leg as close as possible. And my spine is long, it's a three leg downward dog. So make sure that because you bring the leg, you're not rounding here. Oh, keep the spine nice and long. So we can breathe. Right, from here, inhale. Now bring your shoulders over the wrist first. Then keep squeezing now the leg to step forward. Lovely, inhale. Chaturanga. Urdhva Mukha. And downward dog. Five long deep breaths. It's up the jaw. Connect with the breath. Now we're going to walk, jump forward towards your hands to come all the way up to standing. And just land the feet, softening. Finding your breath. We're going to come back with a very soft stand with the soft knees, gently bend. Bring the hands into cactus position. Breathe in into the cactus. Now, as you exhale, one hand will high five. The other hand, back up to center. Inhale, exhale, high five. And continue breathing. Inhale. Exhale. Breathing in. 
breathing out. Just find your own rhythm. Working with the rotation of the spine, the strength of the core. Two more. Back to center, inhale, stretch the legs and relax, back feet parallel, hands in prayer. Follow me with this movement, Vinyasa, inhale, arms up, exhale, bend the knees into Utkatasana, now touch the arm with the tip of the fingers. Stay in Utkatasana, inhale. Exhale all the way down. Now from here, halfway up. Exhale, resting down. Back to the chair. Inhale. And exhale. Let's repeat. Breathe in. Touch the earth. Up to the sky. Hands to earth, halfway up, resting down, into the chair, inhale, and exhale, one more, breathe in, breathing out, inhale, exhale, Halfway up, resting down into the air, into the sky, sorry, into the chair, and standing. And you're stopped here, feeling the energy of the body, regulating your own breath by just. Stay in a feeling, the stillness of the body. Hands into prayer, inhale, reach up again. Exhale, falling forward. Halfway up, jump or step back to plank. Gentle Chaturanga. Urdhva Mukha and Downward Dog. Long deep breaths. Right leg up at the sky, inhale. Knee to your forehead, really rounding. Up again, inhale, exhale two, one more, inhale, exhale three, inhale, to step the right foot forward in between your hands. Let's drop the left heel to the floor and remove the left arm. Push to the right leg, coming all the way up into warrior one, two. Reverse warrior, inhale. Back to warrior two, exhale. And let's do three of those. Just feel the breath and the movement. And the last one, inhale, 
exhale to Parvakonasa, bending the elbow onto thigh. We may stay here, or if you want to place the hands all the way down to the floor, why not? Breathe. Next inhale, coming up, stand the leg, turn into the other side, warrior two. Reverse warrior, inhale, exhale, breathing in, breathing out. Two more. The last one. Ah, Pars Breathe. Coming up, inhale, and we're going to windmill the hands to the floor into plank, chaturanga, urva mukha, downward dog. Find your breath. To lift the left leg up, inhale, knee to forehead. Inhale up, exhale two. Inhale, exhale three. Inhale. Step the left foot forward in between your hands. We draw the heel to the floor. Remove the right arm. Coming all the way up. We're going to extend the front leg. And we're going to bring the back arm forward. Now as the torso is coming toward the front, the back leg needs to be a little bit to be adjusted. Length is fine. And let's place the left hand to your shin bone or onto the floor for Trikonasana. Breathing in, the top arm moves all the way forward. Lengthening through, reaching. Exhale down. Around again. Inhale. Exhale. One more. Breathe in. And breathe out. Inhale. Let's place the top arm onto your waist. Looking down. Bend your knee, front leg. And we're going to walk to Andhra Chandrasana slowly. Jumping the back leg. Lifting. See how far it's okay for you to lift? And gently, we're going to step into Trikonasana again. And come all the way up, inhale. To turn to the other side, tuck in the back leg and turn out. Arms up, inhale. 
Length through. Hand to your either ankle or to the floor. Accommodate. Feel your feet. Well, allocate on the floor. Inhale, length. Exhale, down. Breathe in. Breathing out. Open and closing the torso with the arm and the breath. Inhale, hand to your waist. Looking down, bend the front leg. Walk, hand and slowly the left. Take your time. To raise up. Inhale and slowly come back to Trikonasana. Inhale up. This time, all the way down into plank. Chaturanga. Urza Mukha. And downward dog. Find your breath. And either wall jump forward, close your hands. And roll all the way up, or with a long, long spine, inhale. Exhale, you roll up. Take a moment to feel your breath, or regular your breath. Feel the body. Landing. Hands in prayer. Reaching up. Inhale. And all the way down. Exhale. Halfway up. Jumper step back to plank. Chaturanga. Urdhva Mukha. And down dog. We're going to bend down to the knees. We're going to walk back into squat. Right. And you're going to feel just the heels up, going, dropping down, stretching the keel stem. But just take a moment to feel that sinking of the heels down. They're not touching the floor. And drop the head. And this other way to open also the sole of our feet, they're really stretching the sole of the feet here. And coming up. Right, so this is a suggestion. Uh, everything goes well till the knees start to feel a little bit dodgy, but hopefully it will be sustained by the core. So lift the hands, lift the torso, and just feel that bounciness. We're not collapsed, <laughs> we're lifted. So what we're going to do, we're going to walk forward. So you just try to keep as slow as you can, and just keep walk towards the front of the mat. Right? Now, how are we going to do back? 
hopping backwards. Hop and hop. We're gonna walk forward again. Walk. Bind in the core and hop. And hop. We're gonna hop forwards now. And if this is a frog, we're going to just land to a frog. And we're going to walk backwards. Whew. And we're going to rest into downward dog. Breathe into it. Just open the knees. into plank, we're going to just move the heels sideways, right? The right hand will land slightly closer towards the center, inhale now, round the arm, the heels are just dropping, but if you feel that you want to put the leg on top, it's just a lot of movement, really, you just drop the heels to the other side, inhale, exhale, plank. Breathing in, breathing out. One more. Inhale, exhale, into Chaturanga, Urdhva Mukha, and Downward Dog. Jump or walk forward towards your hands. And we're going to roll it up into standing. Hopefully, that went too horrendous. <laughs> it's just to try being a frog and a bunny. Right. Uh, let's continue. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, falling forward, halfway up, jump to plank, and chaturanga, urdhva mukha, and downward dog. Right leg up in the sky, inhale, step the right foot forward in between your hands. Tip of the fingers. Now the back foot will come close, maybe a little bit less of the halfway. Let's bring the heel to the floor, all the heel, yeah? The heel is well out of care on the ground. Uh, the front leg might bend, is okay. Round your body. A little bit you start to push the right foot down towards the earth to open gently the back of the leg, or maybe it's quite strong, just feel how far you open. And breathe. With the left hand close to the right foot, rotate. Going back, we're going to close, um, walk the hands towards the center, turn the toes forward. Right, we're going to bend the knees, lengthen the spine, really, really squat, opening the hips. We're going to breathe for a three, either you kind of stay with spine nice and long with the hands on the floor or arms out. Inhale. Exhale, one more, hands to the floor, extend legs, we're going to the other side, left toes out, 
and bringing the back in. Very toes are nearly looking forward, heel to the floor. First, we rest down. Right hand close to the left foot, push through the ground with the right hand, rotate the left. Dropping down, walking the hands to the center, Toes forward. This time we're going to lace the fingers behind you. Extend the elbows, dropping down. Relax the head. Breathe into your neck. Into the shoulders. Relax the jaw. And release hands down to the floor. Six at the feet together. To squat down again. So now we're going sideways. Hopefully, I'm not going to come out of the screen. Um, again, uh, this the movement we've been doing is uh, homologous. It's called the upper torso moves first and then the, the, lower, the lower part of the body follows. But here we're going sideways. So the hands go to the side, yeah? And then the legs. Jump. Let's maybe do those, so I can do two of those. Hopefully I'm gonna go for one. Yes, I can do two and two. And then the other side. One and two. Just repeat, again, like a kind of a sideways hoppy of a um, crap, hoppy bunny. Back to the center and go one side. Remember this one, we have been doing quite for two classes. Come back, one jump to the other side. Yes, a little more slower. I was doing too fast. One more. Lovely. Stand the legs, stay down here, stretching the legs. Rolling up. Now we take a moment to just bring our breath back into regulation. Relax the jaw. Feel your heart. Let's step forward into the mat and back. Arms up, inhale. Exhale, folding forward. Halfway up, step back into plank and all the way down. Rest the belly to the ground. Take a moment just to feel the rest.
Rebound to a knee, catch. Mary come to the up into the elbow. And other side. Up into the elbow. And rest. Now let's just move the pelvis side to side. Hands close to your chest, hands to the ground. And reach forward with the top of the head, lift up the upper body. So make sure your hands are supporting also your head. And down. And again. We're going to hold the body up. Relax it during the head. It's not so high. Keep it quite chilled. And Stretch out the arms like an airplane. And tie the circle backwards. One, two, three. Length the back of the neck. Seven and eight. Lovely. And rest. We're going to take this off so you can see the better skin. Um, back again. We're going to first hands well connected, length the back of the neck. But this time we lift with the legs. If you if your lower back is not quite sure this both leg movement, yeah. Uh, lift the head with one leg first, and then drop down, and the other leg. So we're going to continue either one leg at a time, or both legs. Lift, drop, nice and smooth, both together. Last one. We're going to stay up. You can keep the legs down or with the legs up, interlace the fingers, extend your elbows, and breathe through here. Release the fingers, reach arms all the way forward, and drop down. Maybe bend the knees and just circle the shins around to ease up, letting the tail to move. Opposite direction. Into child.
and maybe move your head side to side, forehead rocks onto the mat. Coming up. Uh, we're going to stretch legs forward. And just, we're going to find our sitting bones. I'm going to move into the mat. The mat. We're going to do the sit bone walk. Lift the arms. And we're going to walk forward, liberating the sacrilic joints. Spines moves around, rotates, and going backwards. Lovely. Find now that you find the sitting bones, arms up, inhale. Catch your feet. And we walk again, sit bones back. Little by little, elongating the hamstrings. Let them go all out. Keeping the torso as close as your thighs. And round down. Coming up, inhale, and exhale. We're going to bring the right leg up, drop it to the side. But this knee is going to open a little bit more further. Yeah, we are, uh, the pelvis is more, is open more than square. Make sure both sitting bones are in contact with uh, the floor. Now we're going to rotate towards the bent knee. Ski the rotation. Outstretch your left arm and catch the ankle or the foot. Yeah. And open up your arm. Breathe. Either here, if you feel you need to go all the way, why not? Just find your place, either here or there. And coming back to center. Now, left leg or the outstretched leg come up. Closer and is two ways. Is either at the front, but maybe on top. Yeah, either way, both are great. Now the opposite arm on the front leg will reach up, and we're going to catch our fingers. But no problem, you cannot catch the fingers. You can either, you might feel comfortable to catch the material, or you can place the lower hand on top. And we breathe. Keep holding the hands behind you, if that's okay, and pull forward or hands to the floor, resting down.
Coming up. We're going to move into the boat. And some prayer or outstretch the arms. Three breaths. And feet to the floor. And we're going to now do the other side. Standing out. Find your sitting bones. Rotate towards the knee, which is bent. Arm towards your foot, ankle. And open up. And breathe. Feel in the rotation or all the way down. Coming up. And now it's a front leg. Extend the leg in front or on top. Accommodate. Arm of the opposite leg. Opposite arm. Catch. Or elbow. And coming down, either hands to the floor or keep holding your fingers behind you. And let's come up into Navasana. Feet on the floor, open knees. Arms up, inhale. And going down. One breath more. Now we come up. This time we're going to stretch the legs out and lay down. Just take a moment to just rest here. Right, bend your knees. Now let's extend your leg out. And we're gonna bring your uh, leg above you, your arm above you. The other arm is going to rest on your maybe chest, just bring quite close to you. We're going to pr press the left foot against the floor. Keep pressing with the whole entire sole of your foot. And as you press, the pelvis will start to lift and turn. The more I push the ground, don't drop the knee, please. Keep pressing the whole foot, especially the pinky toe. My body starts to just roll onto the side. 
And then if you bring the pressure, you're going to come back down. So let's try this rotation. It's a very passive rotation in the spine because I'm not moving the spine to rotate. It's my feet who start to affect the body. I push, 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 and I rock. Now, if your shoulder is quite good, you can lift both arms, and as you push, what is going to happen is going to create a wide opening pelvic, first is the thigh, pelvis, ribs, chest, all the way up to the armpit arm. It depends how you feel. Sometimes the shoulders are quite not available to do this, but if you feel that you can relax for completely the arm and let it be dragged by the motion of the whole body with your foot. Right, now, again, let's see how the shoulder is. In the same arm, now place like you want to do the wheel behind your shoulder. Hopefully, you, if your palm reaches the floor, do, let's try this one, but if your palm doesn't reach the floor, you still, the heel of the hand is not quite on the ground. Just keep doing it either with a hand on your chest, or we're gonna push now. There are two, their foot and the hand, they're gonna actively push the floor. And what is gonna happen, that the elbow and the knee as the palm of the solar foot pushes down, they open apart and they start to create a nice back bend. So maybe if I move in profile, let me drop the camera down. I don't know if you can, that's, well, that's better, isn't it? So I'm going to move from here. If my foot and the hand push directly the floor, knee and elbow move apart. They don't drop. Keep them walk and in contact. Then relax the head and I'm going to create a back bend here. And rest. And do that once more. And relax. Lovely. And you just feel breath. Resting to the other side. First, let's start with the hand on the chest. Oh, yeah, no, that's the other side for me. That's my other side. And I push, knee moves away from the pelvis. There is sometimes a tendency that the knee drops. Don't let it drop. Keep pushing the pinky on the floor, pinky toe. Let the head totally be dragged and rest. And again, soft the jaw. And if you want to try with the arm, just let the arm be dragged as well as the head. And then hands behind your shoulder, or continue doing that, they push together simultaneously. Relax the jaw for completely, soft the neck, and one more. And rest. Lovely. Bring the knees onto your chest. Move your knees side to side. So the feet together. Catch your feet.
Maybe catch the ankles, letting the knees drop more to the sides. Hands on your knees. And close the knees, put the feet on the floor, drop the knees towards the one from the side. Breathe into the body. Other side. And let's rise into Shavasana. Or in other posture, you can sit up in meditation, you can lay down in constructive rest. Outstretch the legs. Maybe you want to lay down your belly.
start to recover a deep breath. Stretching your body, waking up. Bend your knees, roll to the side to come up for a seat. And thank you very much. Namaste.